I'm Steve Pope, Senior Editor with Flying Magazine. I'm here with Brian Behrens, uh, Vice Chairman of Arion. And for those of you who don't know, Arion is a company that is designing this uh, incredible looking supersonic business jet. And so I just wanted to uh, talk with you a little bit, Brian, about the design. And can you explain to me a little bit about what this airplane is, and especially this very unique wing? Well, the, the wing is uh, natural laminar flow, which uh, really creates the the performance that sets this apart from any other supersonic design. It allows us to fly very efficiently at high subsonic speeds as well as supersonic speeds and with the efficiency of, uh, of the large corporate jets that we know today. Now, have you done testing of this? You've done wind tunnel testing? You've yes, done some testing with yeah, we, have a, we have the wind tunnel test uh, model over here that we've done uh, low speed uh, tests. We've done tests with the F-15, which you see on the video behind us. So we've been through almost the entire envelope for the airplane. Okay, and it's going well? Very well. Earlier this year, you announced the launch of a new company called Arion Technologies. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit what that is? Well, over the years, as we've discussed the, uh, the Arion program with, uh, with OEMs, uh, they've been intrigued by the technology that we offer with the natural laminar flow. And even though they haven't been ready to, to uh, commit to the Arion project, they, they've embraced our technology and they've asked us to uh, participate in some of their own internal designs. So as a result of that, we, we created a subsidiary called Arion Technologies to, to, uh, to just to do such a thing. And it keeps our, our engineers busy until such time as we formally launch the, uh, the Arion airplane. Now what's unique about your concept is that it would be able to fly supersonic speeds over land. Can you explain that a little bit? No, actually what, what it does is that we will fly using today's rules. Okay. Uh, we'll fly to ICAO standards. As you know, in the U.S., uh, supersonic flight is prohibited. But uh, we can fly at .96 very efficiently, unlike uh, the uh, uh, other SSTs in the past that uh, when they went subsonically, they were uh, uh, the fuel flows were so high that the, it was very range limited. We're not paying that penalty, so we will fly using today's rules. Outside of the U.S., we'll fly uh, using ICAO standards uh, where you can fly supersonic. What are some of the performance numbers then? What is this, uh, what is this cruise at, high-speed cruise? Well, it, uh, it, it's limited to 1.6 Mach, uh, and at that, at that we're guaranteeing 4,000 nautical mile range. At 0.96, we're guaranteeing 4,400 nautical mile range. So our sweet spot is actually high subsonic. And what are you projecting for a, a price for this airplane? Well, we are actually taking orders at uh, $80 million, guaranteed in uh, 2007 dollars. Okay. And assuming a, a, a partner emerges, how long would it take to get this airplane to market? If you it, it, it's a, it's a five-year development program okay. from the time of a firm launch. So. Okay. And you are working with some business jet OEMs, at least preliminary uh, in talks? Yes, we are, and we have been for a number of years. And uh, as a result of the, the uh, economic situation and the toll that it's taken on the industry, we, we, it, it slowed our, our business development discussions to a degree. But uh, we're here for the long term, and, uh, and we know that uh, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of, uh, of when. Well, great. Best of luck to you, and thanks for taking the Thank time. Thank you, Steve. Thanks very much. Steve Pope of Flying Magazine. Thanks. One Tango X-ray, contact tower now.